Welcome back to Inflow Technologies Day in the Life PDM User Series. I'm Nick Sweeney, and today let's talk about using templates in SOLIDWORKS PDM. Templates let you standardize how you do your work. Whenever we use SOLIDWORKS, we use a part, drawing, or assembly template. Well, PDM has templates too. Your administrator can set up templates to work with all sorts of tasks. If you want to see what they are, in Windows Explorer, right click and go to New, and in between folder and bitmap are the PDM templates you can use. In my example, I have CAD templates, engineering templates, and quality templates. If I go through each set, I can see different options. It might be creating a template CAD document. I could be making a new folder structure based on a few inputs. Regardless, to start the process, I just click on whatever I need to create. So let's start a new part. This is a custom job for one of my customers, and she's requesting a new camera mount. I don't have all the information to fill out, but I can fill out what I know to start. Your administrator might require you to fill out some or all of the fields to start out. That's something they would set up on their end. This card is basically a starting data card for my files. The more I fill out up front, the less I have to do later. I do want to draw your attention to the top of the card. We can customize the names for files now and decide which template we want to use. I have the file name here linked to a serial number, so I'm going to leave it as it is. Finally, I have a few options to get started. If I have a list of files that I want to make, I can click Create File, and that will create the file and save it in the appropriate folder, and then I can continue down the line. Alternatively, we can click Open File, and that opens the file in SOLIDWORKS, which is what we'll do here. Now I have a blank file, created in PDM, with relevant data filled in, and I can start designing. 